welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today if you're new here if you're seeing my face for the first time welcome my name is mercy i film about faith beauty lifestyle and everything in between if you like what you see here please do well to subscribe kindly subscribe like comment share turn on your notifications and all the good stuff in today's video you guys already know what's about to go down i'm going to be stating some unpopular opinions so without talking too much let's get right into the video marriage does not define a woman yes guys i'm going to repeat that again marriage does not define a woman if you're married and you feel like being married is your greatest achievement that's totally fine, as long as you're not being wired by the society to think that way. One of the reasons why I brought up this point is I feel like society makes women who are in their 30s and are yet to be married feel inferior. I don't understand, like, if you're not married and you're in your 30s, it's just like, what are you even doing? If being married is the only purpose that a woman has to fulfill in her entire life, and it's not supposed to be the case. I mean, a lot of women that are in their 30s and are yet to be married probably wish they are. But because they don't want society to look at them a certain way, doesn't mean they have to rush into marriage. Marriage is a lifelong, lifetime thing. You need to find a partner that has the same purpose like you do. A person that you are equally yoked with. A person that is the will of God for you. In doing that, you have to consider the demeanor of the person what they constantly talk about, their character, the patterns, their patterns. And most importantly, through prayers and supplications, you can't just, you know, entertain or jump into a marriage with every thumb, dick and ari that comes your way. One needs to have a marriage that has God as the foundation and in the center of everything. It's better to be alone than to be in a miserable marriage. Just because something is popular, doesn't make it right. For example, sex before marriage. <laughs> Please let us stop normalizing rubbish. Let us stop normalizing sex before marriage. I've seen a lot of people talking about this and not condemning it really. I don't understand what this world is turning into. Just because people are doing it, doesn't make it right. What is wrong is wrong. It's fornication, it's adultery, and God frowns at it. I was watching a YouTube video the other day. The title of the video was asking my Nigerian parents what you're afraid to ask you. Basically, in this video, this girl called her mom to ask her if she could ask sex before marriage. And the response from the mother really shook me. It shook me, no be lie. I was like, wow, is this what the world has gotten into? Even for a mother to encourage <laughs> premarital sex, fornication, adultery, encourage our daughter having all those like i was just I, I didn't even know what to make of it i was surprised i was shocked i was shocked and one of the things the mom said to her was you know if you're in a relationship with someone and you know you would know that the person is committed so in the process of knowing that the person is committed then you can you know you can go ahead and have sex with the person to make sure to make sure it's what you desire and i was like eh? Eh? I was so surprised guys I was so 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 surprised like wow I just I just paused for a minute and then I thought okay if you're in a committed relationship okay you can have sex with a person and what if you have sex with a person and it's not what you actually desire so you break up with a person you move on to the next person you get into a committed relationship with a person, you still test it and see if it's what you desire. And if it's not what you desire, you move on to the next person. <laughs> Guys, do you see where this is leading to? Like it's turning to a bad cycle of sleeping with men, sleeping with men. Okay, let's just say, for instance, she eventually finds someone that meets a satisfaction level. She gets married to this person. After the marriage, and God just decides to punish her and then makes the satisfaction not what she thought it was anymore. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So is she going to leave the marriage 
or what like is she going to break off the marriage and this is basically just leaning on our own understanding the bible says trust the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will lead you into the right path i also think this is an example of what god said in the bible when he says those that try to save their life will lose it and those that loses their life will save it i also have a bible verse that i want to share with you guys and it's luke chapter 17 verses 1 to 3 and it says jesus said to his disciples things that make people fall into sins are bound to happen but how terrible for the one who makes them happen it would be better for him if a large millstone were tied around his neck and he were thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of this little one to sin so watch what you do i'm just going to rest my case on that but nothing more to say about that like encouraging your daughter to commit adultery and fornication premarital sex so i'm just going to end it there before i talk too much womb watchers womb watchers need to stop stop asking if someone is pregnant Stop, stop watching people's womb. I've learned in recent times that people deal with stuff that we do not know of, okay? People are trying to cause, people are going through, or they want a child as much as you people are pressuring them to. You're not God. They are not God. They cannot give themselves, they cannot, they cannot give themselves a child. It's only God that will do it. And he makes things beautiful in its own time. So let's just give them a break. And when you see the baby, see the baby you jubilate with them okay and leave it at that and during the process of their pregnancy if they think you deserve to know that they're pregnant they'll let you know if they think you don't deserve to know then mind your business and move along period homosexuality is a sin yes i've seen a lot of people not wanting to denounce that they're like in the middle it's either you're for it or against it that's not to say i hate them or I don't like them. As a person that God created, of course, I love them. What I don't condone is the act, okay? They are two different things. The Bible finds that it, so do I. And I even have a gay friend. I don't agree with what she does. But as a person that God created, I only need to love her and pray for her. And it's funny because when we first met, I didn't know she was gay, but she was a nice person. She was a nice person and she actually realized that our friendship was growing and growing and then one day she called me into a room she called me to there i was like okay what's about to happen okay what's going on here and then she sat me down and she talked to me she told me about it and she told me that some of our christian friends as soon as they find out they stop talking to her and i'm like i'm not like that i'm not that kind of person okay the only thing i can do for her is pray for her that doesn't mean i'm going to let her influence my belief or my opinions my faith she clearly knows that i am against it up until today we're still friends even the other day she texted me and she was like girl i need to talk how are you she called me and she was like okay she has love issues thank god the love issue is with a guy and she wanted to talk to someone that wouldn't judge or be judgmental and all of that and i was like okay and we talked about it whereas when she told me she was gay she liked girls pray for them not support the act and not condone the act dating world is so messed up like bro <laughs> what people where what people they took dating world like this they took it dating world they now turn it upside down. Like, it's so messed up. <laughs> I don't even understand what people are doing these days. Like, sometimes I just sit down looking, eh, eh, you mean it. You don't mean it. <laughs> In the dating world, when you're dating or courting, you need a true leader, a leader that's going to lead you to the kingdom and not to a king-sized bed, okay? We need to be more intentional when we're dating. Like, there's nothing like, let's see where it goes. What is let's see where it goes? That's not dating purposefully. That's not dating intentionally. That's not being intentional. Because when you're intentional and you know that this relationship you're about to get into has an end goal, then you put more effort into that relationship in making the relationship work. With God in the center, but if you're just... If you start the relationship with, let's see how it goes. So anything that happens in the relationship is just like, 
meh. Like, anyway, we are trying to see how it goes. So there is no purpose in it. Stop jumping from one relationship to another. It's annoying. It's sickening. Let's date. Let's be more intentional while we're dating. Let our dating life be more purposeful. There's nothing like, let's see where it goes. No, let's cancel that culture, please. Not every man has the tendency to cheat, to smoke, and to be a drunkard. Okay, there are perfect men out there. I was watching a YouTube video the other day and basically the woman was saying that if you're in a relationship or you have a husband already, there is no way they would not, if they are not all three, right? If they are not all three, they would likely be a cheat. They would likely be a smoker or be a drunkard. And I was like, that's a lie. That's, that, that's not, mm -mm. don't tell, mm -mm. please, please, please. This is why you need to pray for a good Christian marriage because a marriage where um, God is at the center, okay, where God is at the center of your relationship, that man will even have the fear of God to not do all those things. That man would not have the intention to cheat on you. You need to pray for your Ephesians 5 man. A man that loves you like Christ loves the church we not we have the fear of god in him we have enough fear of god in him to not cheat on you and involve and engage in all manner of characters that is ungodly okay there are perfect men out there define your relationships define your relationships a lot of women most especially are just in a relationship on their own no? they're just assuming assuming nonsense <laughs> They are just assuming nonsense. They are assuming that they are in a relationship with someone, whereas they are not. So let's say a guy tells you, you meet a guy and he's like, oh, we're just friends. We're just going to be friends. And then that's fine. Roll with it. But eventually along the line and he start to act as though you guys are in a relationship. <laughs> Girl, don't assume nonsense. Since he could use, since he could come out and say with his chest that, oh, we are just friends and nothing more. You should also have the chest to come and say, I want more, okay? I want more. If he's not saying that, if he's not defining it, I pay, will you be my this or that? Then, bro, that's a manipulator. Don't let anybody manipulate you. Don't let anyone play with your emotions and your feelings, okay? Just move along. In fact, clear the person, because it's either someone has to be inside or outside. Nobody should be blocking the road. Clear anyone that is blocking the road. So you can clearly see the road ahead of you and see what's in front of you. Not somebody that will come and block. He's not entering and he's not outside. He's just there. Philandering. Just philandering. <laughs> this is actually going to be my last unpopular opinion for today, which is basically the fact that you can love people from afar. You can choose to love people people from afar and that's okay based on whatever reason that you may or may not have it's not that you wish them bad or you don't like them or you hate them you just for whatever reason you have it's okay to love people from afar we've come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed watching please like comment share let me know what your thoughts are if you're not yet subscribed please make sure to subscribe like comment share please don't forget to stay prayed up stay safe stay healthy God bless you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If the person says, okay, we are friends, let it stay as friends. But if the guy starts doing kolobi, 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 and the guy is not saying anything, okay? <laughs> it's not kolobi. What does kolobi mean?